And next we have Bibliomancer, a completion is Chronicle series, Wolfman Warlock, book number one. This is 332 pages, $2.99. It is available on Kindle Limited. And here's the author's is author's author's description. There are two authors. The vaunted power of the mage's college, unbound freedom among the wolfmen, the best of both worlds. Recent college grad Sam King was hoping for a backpacking trip across Europe as a graduation present. Instead, he's going to get a different kind of trip, a three-month stint in the ultimate immersive gaming experience. As a lifelong geek, gamer, and outsider, it's a better gift than he'd ever dreamed. But when he jumps feet first in the world of Eternium, run by a cow, the certified altruistic lexicon, it's not exactly what he expected. All he wants is to quest, game, grind some levels, and get his hands on some awesome loot. You know, have fun. But the Mage's Call seems to have a very different definition of fun, one involving study, blisteringly strict regulations, aristocratic hierarchy, and tons of pay to play. Sam crosses the college and finds himself running for his life with a back-talking book that is far more than it seems, and a class that no one has ever heard of. If he can navigate the deadly college politics and the looming war with the barbaric Wolfman, he might just find the fun and adventure he was looking for. So there we go. Again, this is written by uh, James A. Hunter and Dakota Kraut. Um, they co-authored this, and they're both <laughs> some both one a couple of my favorite authors. They're really good guys. I've had a chance to, to meet them several times and do all their interviews. Um, so I was really jazzed about the story. Uh, full disclosure, I should tell you that I received Dan's copy for review. I absolutely purchased when it became available, though. Uh, this is a side story set in the Completionist Chronicles universe. Um, the main character is an original one created for the series, someone that will likely become an antagonistic force to the main series. And I say antagonistic intentionally because I don't think he's going to be a bad guy as much as an opposing force for our main character in the other series. Um, he's just not, a, he's not an evil character. He isn't. Um, although I could potentially see something like the Osmark situation happening in like the um, Viridian Gate series, which is what James Hunter, uh, the series that James Hunter writes, where it's, it's, a, it's a complicated situation eventually. But for right now in this book, it, he comes off very heroic, um, very much with his own ideals and his own, he's just playing for a different side than what the main character is playing for. So I'll just wait and see what actually turns out with. Um, I'll admit right off the bat, I, again, I had high hopes for this. I was super excited because, again, two authors whose stuff I really enjoy are working together to create a story. Um, and I recognize that it is super challenging to co-write a story set in an already existing universe. There are expectations to uphold. Um, and there are just rules in place and story um, points and story timelines that are already set that you can't really mess with. Um, and while it's challenging, I think Dakota Grout and James Hunter do a really good job of navigating that. Um, this straw, however, doesn't really bring anything new in it, and it really can, depending on where it's set. Um, but I think it uses what's existing in this world really when I think, um, what really benefits the fact that I think Dakota Grout, he has a whole head and I'm sure Excel sheets full of knowledge and information. Um, so I, I think that really benefits the series or at least the speaker story. For some readers, it's going to be a really nice return to the Mages College, the Wolfmen, and the early parts of the game. Um, the game mechanics, of course, are really top-notch. So they're really the follow-through well with lots of information on classes and skills and abilities, as is the case for both the authors. They're really, um, it's really important to both of them, I'm noticing the novels, to be consistent with their rules and mechanics and everything. Um, for me, I, I maybe it's because I had high expectations on this, but the beginning of the story wasn't really engaging for me. I'm not saying it's not well written or it's not um, entertaining in its own way. It just wasn't, it didn't really grab me because again, the opening character uh, section is something I've read before. Um, the character creation stuff, the first class that didn't really matter. And you knew it right off the bat because it's not on the cover. It's not that cover <laughs> character class that you knew was coming. Um, and the mages call and stuff. They're all things I'd read about before. So there really wasn't anything surprising there for me. Um, the story only really got interesting for me when the new class, the Bibliomancer class, came into play. And it took a little while in the story to get there. Uh, but once it did, you got tons of information. You got class training. Your class abilities were really cool. Um, and you got an actual <laughs> point of progress for the main character being proactive in in, in changing and challenging um, his situation. Uh, the story took turns um, that I thought it would. It was, it, I'm not saying it's predictable, but you could 
tell there wasn't a ton of room for him to, for this main character to change because the big changes in this story universe were set in a different series with a different main character. So there's only so much room that this character had to, um, to mess with stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and it took the turn that I thought it was going to, I uh, still was really quite a fun story to see how the bibliomancer class overcame the obstacles that were presented for the main character. That was really fun for me. Overall, it's not my favorite story in the Polisius Chronicle series. It just isn't, but it's a good entertaining read. And I'm super happy for both these authors that they're having such a huge success with this particular novel. It's, it's, it's fun and it's good. Um, again, it gets a good score for me. Again, it's not my favorite ser- book in the series, but it, it is a fun story. It gets a score of 7.3 out of 10. It's Bibliomancer with a score of 7.3 out of 10. That's Bibliomancer, the Completions Chronicle series, Wolfman Warlock, book number one.